So there was a protest in Dallas that uh, I saw some videos of on Twitter that was uh, a little scary. Um, and so I just want to check this out. This is a group of self-described Christian fascists that are basically trying to harass people at a gay establishment of some kind, maybe a bar, I'm not sure. And there's a couple of video clips here posted from Elm Fork John Brown Gun Club on Twitter, EFJBGC, check them out. Let's watch. Gruber, Gruber, Gruber. You guys are disgusting. Repent, repent for your sins. So as you can see, there's a group of self-described fascists harassing people and calling them groomers. Now again, yesterday on my show, I covered that Ohio Republicans passed a bill in the House Senate in Ohio to have mandatory genital checks of every child to play sports. That's Republicans. These guys, their team, is passing legislation to mandate genital checks for children to play sports. Just in case. They might be a groomer, so let's check all their genitals. In case. Just in case they're a groomer. There's a couple of their videos here I just want to play. Alex, move on, you weirdo. Alex Stein, move on, you weirdo. Alex, move on. Alex, Alex, get away from the door. Alex, this is what we're dealing with when we talk about right wingers in this country. When we talk about conservatives in this country, this is what we're talking about. This is the logical conclusion of conservatism. That's what this is. I don't care. Oh, I'm a classic conservative. If you are a conservative, this is what you advocate for. What are you conserving? And how are you going to conserve it? Conservatives love to pretend that using and weaponizing the political violence of the state isn't somehow authoritarian. They love to pretend that. Now, some of them, again, the people in these crowds, they just, yeah, we're fascists. We know it. But I'm talking about like your stupid shit fuck uncle who's like, I'm a conservative. I believe in family values. It's one thing if you have a belief, but when you try to force that belief on another person, that makes you disgusting and evil. That's it. Full stop. That's it. If you are going out of your way to harass people because they're gay and nothing else, you're garbage. Whether or not you do it in this fashion, or whether or not you vote for Republicans and stay at home. Or when you post on YouTube comment sections and Facebook and Twitter saying, I hate the gays, you're all groomers. You are a disgusting, terrible person. And again, I wish the worst outcome for you. And that's putting it lightly. But I've got other videos here. Uh, as we can see, we have another. This was shared by Andy No, and that's how I caught wind of it. Some more videos. Let's read the caption. Shows the terrifying moment a man who stated, I'm a fascist, not a Nazi, charged at a family with two young children leaving the event. Anti-fascists blocked his path and he attempted to barrel through them. It's unclear what he intended to do. So, just a quick message to all of these fucking douchebags that call that they stylize themselves as socialists and left-wing writers. I'm talking about like the Ben Burgess kind of crowd that says Antifa is just as bad as fascists. The fact that Antifa exists makes the fascists more powerful. Show them this video. No, 
out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Leave the kids alone, please. Leave the kids alone. 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 the kids alone. Leave the kids alone. Leave the kids alone. Leave the Antifa's just about in the boo the boo Imagine a world where there was no Antifa and right-wingers could just beat the shit out of parents for walking down the street where a gay bar just happens to be on the street. Like, who knows if they were at the event, if they were just walking down the street, that's unclear. But... Anyone... I don't fucking give a fuck who it is, Noam Chomsky, any one of these so-called pseudo-intellectuals who wants to tell you, Antifa's just as bad as the right wing. They're fucking idiots. And they're useful fucking idiots for fascism. So again, just throwing that out there. Um, Here's another video. You got the right to be upset. I got the right to walk down the street. You don't have the right to, to, to walk chase, down the to street. To chase people down the street. I haven't go. chased anybody. They chased me. Me while you in my face. Why are you in my face? It said these motherfuckers are pushing me down the street. Why? Why? You ain't in my face. No, no, you're in my face. So now this guy, of course, the cop is here, and now this guy is gonna pretend to cry. Oh, boo hoo! Boo hoo! I was harassing children with a megaphone and, and tried to run toward them, and people were mean to me. Oh, boo hoo! Oh! Elm Fork, John Brown Gun Club says, two things are clear. He did not intend to leave the kids alone and made that verbally clear. It was obvious to the police that he had charged, charged at and was chasing the children. So again, anyone that tries to tell you that Antifa is a net negative, they make the world less safe. They're a fucking cocksucker. Fuck them. I'm just saying, and I say that because I want them to stop saying cringy shit. That's what I, like, I'm not saying, oh, someone should be canceled forever if they make a one, like, bad claim. If you know someone that says Antifa's bad, send them this video and have them change their fucking mind. But again, it needs to be understood, this is what the logical conclusion of conservatism is in this country. That is what it is. They're, they're fascists and they want to attack you on the street. They want to make it so that if you're gay, you can't leave the house by threat of violence. That's their goal in life is to commit a genocide of everyone that they don't approve of. That's their goal. This is a modern day pogrom. That's what the attempt is anyway. That's what they, all of these people that went outside with their megaphones, that's what they attempted and were going out there to do. It just so happened that there were enough people to protect enough people to prevent any mass tragedies from happening. I am very afraid that Pride Month is gonna get very ugly. Um, there's a lot of Pride Month events in a lot of cities and given just what we're dealing with in this country. I'm not going to pride. I'm just telling you that much. I mean, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this shit's fucking insane. It's insane. 